The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618 the trader's edge now steve rhodes 17th the terrific tuesday otherwise known as the taco tuesday edition of today's trader's edge i'm your host tv perseverance rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free, pick up that phone, give us a dial, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Please send in your email early, just simply because of ISP. Sometimes I get these emails, you know, around uh, five minutes before I'm going off the air, and that doesn't work. But we're going to cover the instruments that uh, came in uh, yesterday, so we'll do that. But I want to hear from you. Uh, so uh, and the other way you can reach us, if you're in the Tiger's Den, you can just go ahead and ping me, private or otherwise. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all indices in the green. The uh, Dow is up 71 points. That's about a quarter of a percent. The S&P up one-tenth of a percent, three points. NASDAQ up uh, basically flat, three points to the upside. Uh, NASDAQ 100. The Russell 2000 up four. Semis are up seven. Um, spot volatility index is down uh, two pennies. Where is it? No, up 11 pennies, straight out of 1225. Gold is up 80 cents. Silver down one penny. Light sweet crude up 74 cents. Natural gas. Um, we're going to take a look at that most certainly. In fact, we're going to do that right off of the. Uh, right at the open here but first let's take a look at the leaders to the upside you've got amazon up 14 bucks riata pharmaceuticals up 11 netflix 11 booking holdings 11 renewable energy about six to the downside shopify down 12 bucks three percent dmc global 16 percent or eight dollars google off six bucks Ooh, 666 that's a devilish thing regenerate pharmaceuticals off five dollars and change that's about one and a half percent oh i guess i should really share with you my chart you don't want to see my face while i just tell you about that so there you go. Now we can see the actual details. So one of those details would be, hey, let's go see what's going on with natural gas. You may remember yesterday we received a call from Robert in Kansas, a subscriber who was taking a look at possibly going along natural gas. And as we had discussed during the show, uh, that there was a nice bullish engulfing candle that was confirming this uh, 1 to 1.272A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, as you know, one of the lines on our chart that is muy importante, see, I'm just sticking with the Taco Tuesday theme out here, uh, is Stevie's red line, red and green line out there. Not necessarily for the holidays, uh, just two colors I thought would make a whole lot of sense out there. And that is a really important line out there. And what happened yesterday is uh, price tested and rejected it. Now, when that line is red, it tells us that our price oscillator, you can actually see that on the screen, that is the difference between the 19 and the 39 day exponential moving average. But when it is below zero, see how the line changes colors from red to green when the price oscillator is at zero. This way, I only really need one tool. I only need one line on my chart. I, only, I like to limit uh, the number of tools. There's plenty of tools that I obviously have out here. And so I normally don't show this, but here you can visually see what it is I refer to. Uh, but there's nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. In this case here, well, there's nothing more bearish than really falling price oscillator below zero. And that's where it's at right now. So we've got indecision out here. Now, what I had mentioned in today's newsletter 
um, specifically was, well, let's go see what's going on on the short-term time frame. So the daily right now is uh, using the old not-so-fast verbiage and saying, eh, I'm not so sure about taking that long trade out there. Now, why is my – here we go. So what, then what we do is what I did was yesterday, I believe, what I did was I kept Robert out of the trade because – well, that's a 30-minute. Uh, we can go to the 30-minute, but it was really the two-hour chart. Let me pull the two-hour chart out here for natural gas. And what we're going to see is that we said, you know what? As we looked at this, this is right here at about 12 noon. So we looked at it uh, sometime around now, 1 o'clock or so. And we saw that it had gotten to wave number 7. That's letter number G. You can see turns and changes in trend around there. And that's exactly what took place. Price moved lower until it formed the next potential bottoming signal here. And that was that TD set up nine count and that hourly time or two hour time frame out there and it did form above the prior breakout area 2.22 so if you're an aggressive trader out here i can see why you would take the trade however and i do mean however what we can also see is on the two hour time frame stevie's green line is acting as resistance so i wouldn't enter this trade quite frankly until there was a close above two dollars and 36 cents that is the current breakdown area that was formed by that td setup out there so that's what i would do i think right now you're still in neutral zone uh, robert with regard to uh, taking a long trade in natural gas the daily is absolutely saying not so fast and the two hour does have a bottom pattern but again it has found resistance so i hope that that helps you out let's go out to martinez california and speak with brent brent thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you doing today how was your weekend it was just great steve thank you much for taking the call my uh, with you uh everything is uh, fine with the exception of uh christmas is like around the corner I know, and it's I coming up fast. I I probably should. It's a little easier being retired. <laughs> I got my stuff done. This is probably the earliest I've ever had my shopping done. So. I'm not going right, well, to gloat about it, just making a point. Well, I, I might have to hire you then for some uh, <laughs> one of Santa's helpers. There's a potential, yeah, that could be a whole enterprise there, just doing people's shopping for them. Absolutely, absolutely. Just give me your checkbook. I'll do the shopping for you, no problem. <laughs> Um, All right, so you want to do some shopping got, with Mosaic? Yeah, I've been following this for a while and, and decided to get in a couple of days ago and, and uh, just wanted your thoughts on it. It seems like it might be getting through some levels of resistance here and, and just wanted to get your take on it, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So from a profile standpoint, um, it's above the daily. That was your resistance area, 1896. No new profile that is formed. So that takes us up to the next level. We go from daily to weekly. The weekly, it's a nice bullish structured profile and would suggest to move up to 2070. Doesn't tell us whether price will close over 2070 or not. So you've got about another 64 cents before this runs into resistance. The monthly um, is well below its monthly profile. So nothing really there for us to hang our hat on. So right Right now we've got a level of 2070. As we pull open the other daily chart, we're going to see resistance at 2047. So right around 2047 to 2070, 2047 is the uh, TD setup breakdown level out there. Um, I don't have today's candle is not populated. I think I have too many other things going on at the moment. But we know at 2047, that is where you're going to see some resistance. So between 2047 and 2070, Brent, is what I see in mosaic out here. Uh, we're going to a hard break. Why don't you hold on? And I'll answer any other questions on any other instruments as well for Brent in Martinez, California. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 68. S&P is up 3. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. The stock we're taking a look at is Mosaic. MOS is the uh, ticker symbol. And our thoughts are that this is headed up into a resistance area between 2047 and 2070. Brent, what? Uh, thanks for holding. Uh, what else can I uh, help you with, uh, either with Mosaic or anything else? There is a little lag when I'm talking to you on the phone and what's happening on my computer. And so... I caught the chart that has your, I guess the TD counts on it there at the end, the, the white background chart, and I Let's couldn't really see it was there. A, I didn't like there's any particular count down there, maybe just somewhat of a bullish candle on that that low that it put in. But if you could maybe go back to that or, or at least comment on that part of it, I didn't really have a chance to see it. Yeah, so no, uh, no, no count that is underway at this moment. Uh, the count at the bottom or that bullish reversal can be referring to on December 12th out there, um, not uh, not signaling any type of, uh, you know, count bottom or or other pattern as such. Um, so but that 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 being said, uh, the weekly did have a Rhodes momentum indicator pattern that formed a while ago uh, and price hadn't hasn't really done a lot on the weekly. So we can see that pattern uh, coming in here. And that actually was confirmed when there was this bullish engulfing candle that formed the week of October the 11th out there. But as we, and remember right now on this chart here, for, it's not updating today's activity. I just have, I think, too many things going on. I don't want to shut anything down just yet. Uh, I can navigate around this. But it does look like uh, price is headed up to the top of that weekly profile or that resistance area, that breakdown area on the daily chart that was out there in that 2040 range. Okay, that's great. It gives me, again, a level we'll be watching for, and if it can get through that, then is that next level, is it like 20, around 23 or something I'm seeing on one of the charts there, it looks like? 
Maybe. So, a, a next, <laughs> yeah, no problem. So the next level, I would say, the next real critical level, if it can get above resistance, let's call 2070 the higher of the two resistance points, the top of the weekly profile. Then the next area we would be watching would be the monthly um, oscillator and change line, which right now is priced at about 2140. It's going to be a little bit higher than that because price is not traded in 1948. But it's right around, let's call it this 21 to 22-ish type area that would be the next resistance point that I would be looking at, and that would be on the monthly level. If price can clear that, um, not a necessarily a bottom pattern uh, of the bottom patterns I use, but they're not always present at every bottom. It's just when they are present at uh, tops and bottoms, that's when you know it's helpful to us uh, in putting together a trade. So that 2140-ish area would be the next area um, that I would be watching for. That's right. So you're you're about ready to you know get into the battleground areas. Yeah. I guess I was looking at that 2481, maybe the breakdown area on the on the daily was what I what I saw that red line that is coming across. Um, but, uh, yeah, 20, 2047 is that breakdown area uh, for you to for look at on the daily, and then yeah. above that yeah. would be yeah, just, yeah, the other ones up higher. I guess is yeah. one I was looking at. That that gives me some levels to be watching. So appreciate it very much, Steve. Have a wonderful day and and a rest of your you week. Bet. I'm not sure I'll talk to you again before the holidays. If not, just. Enjoy you know, time with your family, and all the best to you, all right? Absolutely. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thanks for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. So we did have a few instruments that came in uh, late yesterday. I'd like to get to those for uh, you know folks that were listening in. One is Apple. And the question there, was there anything new inside of Apple? That was for uh, HD, I believe, who was looking at that. And so HD, no new Apple, but let's go ahead and put the uh, chart up on the screen or charts here. Here are your daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly uh, profile level. So the daily in the upper left, uh, you can see in blue, those are your TAS market profiles above those, the weekly on the upper right-hand panel, well above that, above the monthly, above the quarterly. So everything is uh, hunky-dory here with regard to Apple. Now in the weekly, it's probably the easiest to uh, draw your A to B equals CD patterns, which is going to be a way for me to segue into another question that came in as well which are A to B equals CDs for the indices out here. But let's just take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern underway inside of Apple. Hopefully I can, uh, my uh, mouse will cooperate. There we go. So our A point is down here in the, uh, I'm looking at a weekly time frame chart. So I'm just going to use the uh, week of December of 2018, so a year ago. That's going to be our uh, weekly bottom. Our B point is April in 2019. And our C, that's the B point. The C point out here is going to be the low in June of this year. And what we can see is that that was about a 6.618 retracement with 61.4% retracement. Okay, we use that those uh, Fibonacci retracements as guidelines. It doesn't have to be exact. Sometimes it's exact. But right now, what this uh, says to you and I, HD, is Apple looks like it wants to target from an A to B equals CD price projection. The next level is going to be 288.89 out there. Um, so I don't see anything. Uh, let me do this here. Uh, let me take a look at, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that, but that doesn't really matter. You guys can't see that. I'm going to pull over this Apple chart here. Um, this is coming from the uh, new version of the software that I'm remodeling and programming and everything. Let me kind of close a couple of things here. Come on, work with me. Work with me. We're live on air. There you go. Just stop right there. So we can see also, HD, that today is going to be day eight. Tomorrow, likely day nine of a TD setup nine count. So always something to be watching uh, there. That's what the daily chart uh, shows us. The weekly chart, what we have here, the weekly is going to be in, uh, is forming bar number eight. We know that bar number eight can be a top or a bottom in this case here because price is moving higher. And we've got the eight count to the uh, upside. But it can also be week number nine or week number 10. So it's possible that we don't see any kind of real topping signal here in Apple until the uh, until about three weeks uh, from now. Uh, two weeks. Well, the rest of this week, this is bar eight. Next week would be bar nine. The week after that, bar number. 10, so to speak. The monthly time frame chart with regard to signals out here, just price moving higher, no less relative energy. But other than that, I don't see the TD setup counts out here. Why is that? Well, the reason is because it must not be turned on. So let's do this here. I was doing a little bit of housekeeping. No, it's out there. 
So it is on. There's just no TD9 counts for us to be worried about from the monthly time frame for Apple. So, Brent, uh, uh, HD, I hope that uh, helps you out with regard to uh, Apple, and and uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, write in. Now, there was a uh, another question here about uh, the A to B equals CD patterns out here. So we'd reference this when we took a look at Apple from a weekly chart. And in this case here, the questions were taking a look at um, the S&P, the Dow, the indices out there. Now, this is a quarterly chart. And uh, Eddie was asking the question, that's who wrote in, uh, and he was taking a look at his ABCD pattern. And he was saying, am I crazy out there? Not him, not me, him. No, I, I say, Eddie, you're not crazy out here. No, I've got some different A to B equals CD. Now, A to B equals CD patterns, are, it's a visual thing. Uh, most certainly. And uh, we'll go back and take a look at different time frames because on different time frames, there's different A to B equals CD patterns. But Eddie, you were really asking about the longer term or the bigger picture out here. And so therefore, I'm taking a look at the bigger picture for the S&P. And by bigger picture, we just have to go back to the, and we, we take a quarterly chart out here, we can knock out a lot of the noise, obviously. And so our A point becomes January of uh, 20, uh, 2009 out there. That's our A point from our quarterly span standpoint, 666. I still get cards and letters from folks that believe that the S&P 500 is headed back there. Okay, if that's what you say. Uh, here, very small retracement that we have seen on a quarterly basis in the S&P 500. You'll see that the initial one-to-one -one price projection is 32.78. Ain't no way that that's where the S&P ends. That does not mean we don't have another correction coming. And it could be the kind that's 20% or more. But over the long haul, 32.78, 36.77 at a minimum for the S&P. Hope you're right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So I believe the A to B equals CD pattern on the S&P and all the indices that Eddie, I'm just going to use and stick with the S&P and we'll go to the other questions that have come in here. I believe that what Eddie was using was the uh, lows from back here in uh, 2016. So uh, that's your A point out here. I'm going to use, I can't tell which low it is. I'm just going to use the low from February, the week of February 8th out there as my A point, my B point. I'm going to come out here. That is September 17th. And then the uh, C point is the uh, week that began December 24th of last year. So that becomes our C point. There's your one to one A to B equals CD. Now, what, what what I would share with you about this pattern here, Eddie, and I know you're saying to yourself, is this real? Is this possible? And, and the answer is yes. You've passed a uh, B point, a swing point out here. I don't know if it was done with volume or not. It doesn't necessarily matter. If you do it, then you've got more conviction. That's all that it really means out there. Uh, because when uh, you really take a look at A to B equals CD patterns, where I first began to really use these was in the currency market, where you had no volume at all to be able to rely upon in the uh, currency market A to B equals CD patterns work just fine. Here's what I want you to really understand and, and the most important thing if you're going to go ahead and draw your own A to B equals CD patterns many of you may not have this tool well first because I program this tool uh, for my different applications but you do have a line tool and so you can draw a line from A to B and then you can figure out exactly what that distance is or copy and paste and that's what I would recommend you do is copy and paste that line what I want you to always do is maintain the exact same angle I mean exact from the low of your A point, if it's an A to B equals CD to the upside, to the high of the uh, B point. And then that angle should be the exact same angle when you decide where your C point is. Well, the market really decides that for us, right? It does 75% of the work, and that was the lows out here from last December. And uh, what I want you to pay attention, the reason why that's important is because what this is helping us to understand is the strength of that A to B move and where is the strength along that C to D leg. And right now, uh, Eddie, the, if you were to just simply just say this was the ultimate, this was your A to B equals C D pattern, and you're asking what's the likelihood of getting to 3477, we'd say the uh, likelihood is uh, huge, gigantic. Uh, it's a, uh, you know, I can't give you a percentage on there. I can say huge and gigantic, though. The reason is, is because this is a stronger move now. The move along the C to D leg is stronger than the A to B leg. Why? How can Stevie say that? Because price is well on the left side of that move. From a time standpoint, it's moving higher, uh, quicker than it did along that A to B leg out there. So 34.77 uh, was the one to one. Um, but uh, 3784 would be your 1 to 1.272. So we can draw all kinds of A to B equals CD tools. These are our price progressive tools out here. They help us to identify where price may be targeting. Of course, we need to understand, as Brent and I did, we spent time trying to figure out where's resistance, where are the sellers hanging out, because that's really important. And that's what we do when we use the uh, profile levels. Um, for example, here's our profile levels for the ES Mini, for the uh, NQ, for the YM, for the Russell 2000. And they assist there are no new market profiles as we speak uh, at the uh, moment. So I hope that that helps you out, Eddie, and answers your question. Let's go to another question that came in here, this one coming in from Dan. And Dan has some uh, puts in the uh, J-Nug out here, the junior nugget. And uh, so let's just try to help um, Dan with regard to the junior nugget and take a look at the daily time frame chart. I think that that's really what you're interested in. And so at this stage of the game here, if we were just simply going to rely upon looking at the JNUG chart out here and its TAS market profiles, um, a, we would say that this thing has hit support. And support is 63.92 out here. Um, so you've got a, a put on this, I believe. And uh, you may have just today seen the low for J Nug. At least this is a bullish structured box out there. I don't know whether you're in, whether you know whether you've made money on this trade or not. But if it's me and I'm just relying upon the Junior Nugget. Out here, uh, I'm telling you this thing is back at a bullish structured profile level, 63.90. I'm not telling you that. The charts are telling you that. 63.92, the actual low today, 63.89. If price uh, closes uh, above 63.92, um, price has held support. 
uh, held support in a, a big way. And if you're looking now, I would have preferred to have gotten uh, pulled up this chart and saw the price was trading below the bottom of a bullish structured profile. But that uh, is not the case out there. And the other thing that it uh, looks like it's done again today's data not being populated, but you can see that Stevie's line changed from red to green. We always talk about a meetup. Uh, and it looks like a price, and that's also at 63.92. Looks like price has tested two key levels of support, and thus far has bounced off of it. So if it's me, and I believe that that uh, trade that you're in expires uh, soon, uh, I would be uh, getting out of dodge. So Dan, I hope that that helps you out with regard to the uh, junior nugget. No reason for us to really be spending any time on the. Uh, the weekly or the monthly chart. We could go a peek, uh, take a peek at gold, see what its message is there. Uh, gold here not doing much, just trading between support and resistance. Its resistance line happens to be the top of its profile. That's at 1481 from a daily perspective. But it wouldn't surprise me to see gold drift higher, maybe even to 1497. I'm not making that call. I'm saying it wouldn't surprise me. I don't see. Uh, I just see a consolidation out here. And uh, when we take a look at a weekly time frame chart for gold, this is the warning sign. This is the warning sign in Stevie's mind out here is the weekly time frame. It really puts things in perspective. Uh, let's go ahead and expand this chart. Well, let's expand it when it populates. I don't know what it's resolving. It says resolving symbol. There's not much to resolve out here. Um, so I'll just have to describe. I don't know why it's doing this, but I will just simply have to to share with you what the weekly looks like, which is just small bodied candles for like the last, I don't know, five, six, seven weeks out there, something like that is my recollection. Very small bodied candles. And the body of the candle is truly the essence of price. So someone, some ones out there have got their thumb down and are capping price from an open and closed standpoint. Sorry that it's not populating. Don't know why, but it is and um, and so I can't show you that. So you're just going to have to go look at the chart yourself or just believe that what I've shared with you is, in fact, the real deal. No reason not to. We had another question that came in out here. Let's go try to take a look at uh, it. Uh, it, the question is taking a look at ticker symbol SCCO, SCCO. Let's go take a look at it. That is Southern Copper out here. Let's go try to figure out what SCCO is doing right now. This is trading above daily, weekly, monthly profiles. So it is trading above all resistance out there. So that is a, a beautiful thing. Let's try to figure out what it uh, did yesterday uh, because I don't have today's data, but that'll help us. So it looks like what this is going to form today is a TD setup nine count. Now, yesterday's high may have been the high out there, Sylvia. So you've got a valid topping pattern uh, that is in place, uh, not, not, not because yesterday was a bearish engulfing candle, although that kind of helps the uh, message out here. But yesterday was the high. Uh, the high usually would come on an eight, bar eight, nine, or the bar following nine. Uh, today, we know that uh, price is not. It's trading below that high. You can just take a look at the uh, daily chart out there. This is going to be day number nine, or appears to be day number nine of a TD setup nine count. I would be watching, Stevie. I'm not saying short this although it is a top, but the confirmation would come with a close below Stevie's green line, currently at 4034. Right now, 4034 is support. Topping pattern, the question is, can sellers push price down below the first level of support? The first level of support, 4034. Where's the second level of support, folks, when you take a look at this chart out here? Exactly. It would be the top of the daily profile, 3857. Then you've got 3798, the center. And then you've got $37, the bottom of the TAS market profiles. Those are your support levels for ticker symbol SCCO. That's Southern Copper. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 51, S&P three points, NDX is uh, seven. I'd love to hear from you, 877-927-6648. Uh, let's continue taking a look at a couple instruments, additional instruments that Sylvia wanted us to look at. I've got no other uh, request in the uh, queue out here. And one of those was Constellation Pharmaceuticals, CNST, out here. What we can see is that uh, there's resistance here, both the top of its daily and weekly profile. So between 48.29 and 49.92 is going to be your resistance area, Sylvia. Now, you've got to be careful in this equity because uh, this confirmed a nice roads momentum indicator topping pattern. I uh, did this on December 10th at uh, bearish engulfing wide ranging bar out there. So uh, price may be just simply making a counter trend move up to that resistance area, either 49.92 or 48.29. Now, it's a daily chart. That is the one that shows the uh, a caution signal. The weekly does not show the same caution signal out here. It shows that that week that we saw that or that day that we saw that move lower was nothing more than a test on the weekly basis of Stevie's green line out here. So this still remains bullish, but I would say it doesn't get back to its really bullish nature until price would close above 49.92. So that's what I see when I take a look at Constellation pharmaceuticals. The last one Sylvia wanted to look at was SPRT. So let's go take a look at that. That is support.com out there, SPRT. And uh, this is, um, I'm just going to say don't trade it. It's too illiquid. You got days where it's got 30,000, 20,000, 18,000 shares. If you want to try to get out of this puppy, um, may not be that easy to do out here. A buck 93. Uh, that being said, is there anything really significant that I see? Hey, look, price is trading above the daily, the weekly, and the monthly top of its profile. So, from that perspective, okay, uh, have at it. Uh, price was moving higher, doing less relative energy, no bearish re Well, I take that back. You got a bearish reversal candle back here on the 13th. Um, I don't know. This is just so illiquid that 
Um, you know, my tools work for sure. You know, they help us identify the patterns out here. For example, on the weekly, what you've got, Sylvia, is you've got a TD set of nine count that has been confirmed well below the prior nine count, which was at 255, which would have been your resistance area. So that just says some caution out here. Um, but maybe you are following this, Sylvia. And if so, uh, the best that I can share with you is, hey, look, if you... Uh, if you're able to take out that nine count, the high from last week, do it within the next couple of weeks. You're in pretty good shape out here. Uh, when I say pretty good shape for price moving up, I would say the target would be about two dollars and fifty-five cents out there. That's your next real resistance level. So I hope that helps you out. That's it for Sylvia. No other requests. So we've taken care of uh, Apple Junior Nugget, the A to B equals CD pattern. So what should we do? Hey, let me show you the fish I caught. A couple fish, actually. This was Sunday's fresh catch of the fresh fresh catch of the day. This is a, a nice 50-pound wahoo. Now, if you've never gone wahoo uh, fishing out here in the uh, uh, off the Atlantic, uh, and they're starting to run right now, so we were pretty lucky. We actually went out specifically to uh, catch uh, some wahoo, so we had some special uh, local lures that we were uh, testing out. They actually worked pretty good. And uh, uh, but when you're Yahoo fishing, you know, you're 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 trolling at about eight to nine miles um, an hour. And uh, so we were we caught both the Mahi Mahi and this as we were uh, as we were headed uh, south. So it was, the wind was coming from the north. So we had the wind at our back and um, but the current was going against us. So you got to picture this. I got a boat that's going about eight miles an hour south into the uh, into the uh, current uh, and, and knew that we had a big fish out there. And it took probably about a good uh, half an hour to bring this uh, big boy uh, in. And uh, in my smile, that's about uh, 45 minutes later after I had recovered because uh, how close to shore? No, we were the depth that the Wahoo run around here, Bill, is about 108. We found 185 feet was um, was really the area to be catching those. So, um, you know, a mile or so offshore, half a mile, three quarters of a mile offshore. This is this is here. When we came back in afterwards but we also caught a it was a good day good sunday you know we were out there we get out we leave about 6 30 in the morning uh get out and so we also caught a uh, a nice little uh, dolphin out there so that was like about a 20 25 pound this guy here was 50 pounds it was a uh, and then uh, while we were catching that uh, we saw a couple of marlin that were uh, jumping so uh, it was a good sunday it was cold as can be i started out in my long underwear. Uh, that's because it was in the 50s with a northerly wind. Okay, so do we have a request out here? We've got a request from uh, uh, from AVID is the uh, ticker symbol out there. So let's go take a look at AVID, see what it is and what it's doing out there. And that is for Lorna in the uh, den. So AVID is trading above its daily profile. That's AVID technology above its weekly profile and inside its monthly, right at the center of the box. So it's get to, it's at the center, which is 886, Lorna. That is where both on a, we'll talk a longer term now, the monthly chart where both buyers and sellers believe that there is fair value out here at 886. So that's what that chart shows us. On a daily basis, so no problems. I don't know if you're long, if you're short. Um, but right now, we know that price is trading above the top of its profile out there. And uh, looks like it's trying to form what's got a rose momentum indicator signal. Doesn't mean it has topped or anything like that. You don't have a bearish reversal candle. Yesterday certainly was not it. Today is not it as we speak uh, or at the moment. Right now, you've just got a little doji candle out here. So it looks like it wants to move higher. Let's see. Was there any breakdown area? on this. Where's its next level of resistance out here? So I don't have that here. Let me look over to the weekly chart for you. See if there's a level of resistance that pops up. We see support. That's for sure. Support now because price above its uh, profiles out there. 662 support is going to be 780 or right around that level. Uh, that is uh, Stevie's green line out here. Uh, so I don't see any real problems on the uh, daily, on the weekly. On the monthly, just simply that price is sitting at a uh, level of support. So if you're in it to win it, I don't have a reason for you to exit this. And I don't have a reason to say that this would be a short, uh, you know, resistance looks like it's in this $11 type area out there. So that is a ticker symbol, A-V-I. 
D out there. Uh, question uh, from Jimmy, what just happened to Spy? Huge spike down. Uh, and then a recovery. Well, I, I, I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, I don't see a huge spike. You must be looking at a minute minute to win it uh, chart out there. If I take a look at the ES Mini out here, uh, Jimmy, just look at a short-term time frame chart. We're just trading in between support and resistance. Let me do this here because it's a little bit cleaner, just a little bit cleaner here, Jimmy. You'll be able to see this. Look, the most important thing that you, you and I can do is really understand where support and resistance is, understand uh, where it is for the different time frames that we trade. Here is going to be taking like your TD setup breakdown and breakout levels for three different time frames. 30 minute is up at the top, 60 minute is in the center. And 120 minute is uh, down below. And what you'll see, the daily, really, if you just want to understand today's action, trading between resistance, that's 3,20,250, TD setup nine count breakdown area. Trading between support, 3,193,50, a TD setup nine count to the upside. That's the range we're in. That's it. Pretty quiet market. Price is just doing that, just consolidating between support and resistance. See Roads with TFN. We'll be right Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So as we go into the last segment here, there's a question came in from uh, Eddie. I'm just trying to... Uh, 
kind of populate this uh, chart here, make it a little bit easier for you to see, kind of like the uh, main headquarters. This is HQ right here with regard to what's going on with regard to the general industry. So Eddie writes in, he says, hey, Steve, uh, caught the tail end of your answer. Thanks. That's on the ADB CD. I remember when uh, you and I talked at my brother's office, you thought that the March 2020 could be the biggest opportunity in the market for the Dow, 30 plus thousand. Um, you know, in essence, he's asking, do I still have the same uh, the same thought process? The chart patterns now have uh, changed uh, uh, quite a bit, uh, Eddie. And um, and so, no, my thinking has changed because the chart patterns have changed. And and this is what I want you to really take a look at. Uh, so if you're just listening in, I believe you listen on your radio, uh, uh, I want you to go back and watch the archive and just uh, zip all the way to at least 155 in the afternoon, and you'll take a look at this chart here. If you take a look at the upper pack, uh, portion, it is the S&P cash indices. If I was asked, if I was given just one pattern that I had to trade, to the trading contest or what have you, and somebody said, there's just one pattern that you're going to trade. You can use whatever time frame it is to go ahead and make your trades. What would it be? It would be the Rhodes Momentum Indicator. Not because I named it after myself, because it is the most reliable for helping us identify tops and bottoms. We want to be able to sell tops and buy bottoms, not sell high and buy low. Who the heck knows where high and low is? It, it, but tops and bottoms, a whole different scenario. Look at all the topping signals daily and monthly. And then we've got a few on the weekly, whether it is in the sectors in the S&P 500, all of the indices that are out there, obviously the equity futures uh, contracts as well. And this is spelling trouble, the likelihood of trouble. I don't know what the trigger is. So there's going to there would have to be a trigger. Nothing has been confirmed. Look, we use a very methodical approach and a methodical approach that we let the market tell us. But right now, the market is telling us all kinds of warning signs. We know that the market makes bottoms typically the end of January, the middle of October. If we get some type of topping confirmation out here, folks, this says the markets move lower into next October or the following January based upon the seasonal cycle. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. My favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien to take it at home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Take care, folks.